We're doing dinner tonight on paper plates because, well, why not? And it is um, leftover pot roast. And then there is some mashed potatoes in the microwave with some carrots and roasted onions. Hey girls, it's time for dinner. all over my shirt and I was stained and I just put my shirt on. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh So the steak that Marcus grind, the, the roast that he brined was a top sirloin and the flavor was phenomenal. You guys saw that I made some stories about it on Instagram. Phenomenal. I posted the recipe. I showed the recipe on Instagram. I showed you guys what I was cooking. I showed you how I was doing it. I showed like the veggies, what seasonings I put on them, how I seared the pot roast first on the stove with olive oil and butter and then how I put it in the oven and I showed you guys when it was all done. It was phenomenal flavor, but the texture of the meat was a little bit tough and I feel like it was a top sirloin. Maybe that's why it was tough, but it was a pretty big cut of meat for only like $12 so maybe I didn't get the best cut let me know what type of roast you use in the oven to cook with like potatoes carrots onions celery and mashed potatoes what cut of meat do you guys use because the top sirloin is tough yeah it's good but I know there's better cuts of meat that I can get that's a little bit more money. That's tasty. I don't mean a prime rib or anything That's like that. Tasty, but mommy. I want to eat that. I want mm. to eat That's that water. Let me know in the comments what kind of meat you guys use. Ew, it's in the rice. Oh, yeah, my thing. Bless you. Ew. What? Sophia sneezed on me. <laughs> Naughty baby. <laughs> I love that. Sophia, say excuse me, and when you sneeze, sneeze in your hand or in your arm. Go, achoo, achoo, like that. Or you sneeze in the After we're all done eating, we're gonna load up in the car. We're gonna go to the dollar store for something that I need, and we're gonna go to um, Walmart. About a week ago, I went to Walmart, or not Walmart, about, a, about two about a week and a half ago i went to the dollar store and they had this l'oreal true match it was l'oreal true match powder foundation and i've been using it for my contour 
past. the past week and a half and I've been loving it. The contour on my face has been looking super snatched and it's from the dollar store you guys. So I, hey don't touch my plant baby. It's not funny. Don't touch people's plants. And so I want to include those if they still have them in the dollar store. If not, I'll just go to Walmart and pay full price for them because it's something that I've been loving. But I want to go to the dollar store and see if they still have, because they had like huge boxes of them. So it's like they got a big shipment of the L'Oreal True Match powder foundations or something. But they were in brown shades and I noticed a lot of brown shades at stores don't sell very fast. So... I hope all the brown shades are still there and I can ship them out to you guys in my boxes and my favorite things boxes because I've been loving it. I want you guys to love them and like I said, if they're not in the dollar store anymore, I'll just go and see how much they cost at the, um, the drugstore or Walmart and just buy them there because they're legit. But the ones at the dollar store, they're all brown. They're all darker, deeper shades, and I'm figuring if you are a brown girl like me, you can use it as powder for your whole face, or if you have lighter skin, you can use it as contour. So, win-win for everybody. It's a little windy out. Well, it's a lot windy out, but it's not really that cold. It's just really windy. I got five. I found the L'Oreal True Match. One, two, three, So I got lucky with those. Four, and then I found these macaron lip cravers. This one is You Are Very Sweet. And this one is This is Meant to Be. I think they're really cute. guys I really don't even drink coffee but look what caught my eye such a sucker for packaging look how cute this is donut shop ground coffee these ones too cute Okay, we're back home and we got some funfetti ice cream for the kiddos because it's Saturday. So I'm gonna let them. It's eight o'clock at night. Their bedtime is normally 7:30, but I'm just gonna kind of let them go ham tonight because why not? We're eating ice cream out of plastic bowls because again, why not? Save me dishes. This is the yummiest ice cream. It has little bits of sprinkles in it. Mm. And then I got Marcus is coming over after the girls go to sleep. So he likes chocolate and peanut butter ice cream. If you have not tried chocolate peanut butter, then what are you even doing with your life? It is so good. Chocolate peanut butter ice cream, you guys. It's divine, it's rich, it's creamy and smooth. It tastes like chocolate mixed with peanut butter 
obviously but it's so good he brought some over a few weeks ago and he was like you want some chocolate peanut butter ice cream and i was like ew that sounds gross peanut butter i tried it you guys so good so here we are the medicine ball copycat from starbucks i have all the ingredients to make it i'm gonna make it tonight but instead of making it hot i want to make it iced and cold let me know down in the comments when it's cold outside, do you guys like your iced coffees or your hot coffees hot or cold? Normally, I always drink iced coffees and my iced um, Italian sodas. And when it's cold outside, even in the winter, like I'll still stick with the iced stuff. Let me know if you switch up in the winter time or if you switch up in the summertime or you just keep it 100 all year. These are from Home Goods a few days ago, but these are so cute. They look so yummy. They're llama brownie mix kits. And we're going to do one of these next Wednesday when we have a holiday baking party. And then we're also going to do one on Fun Friday. So cute. The girls are going to love this. I got five of these for our five winners. I've really been into tea lately and I want to share that with you guys. So Tivana is the brand from Starbucks. And I got beach bellinis with pieces of pineapple and mango. Yum. Plus, look how cute the packaging is. I mean, come on. In case you guys didn't know, I am doing a huge giveaway over on Instagram. All you have to do is like and comment on all of my posts and of course be following me for the month of December. It's an engagement giveaway. If I make a post in December, like it and comment on it. It could be simple as leaving a heart emoji or a hi or oh my gosh, how cute. Anything you want, any type of comment. So literally all you have to do is like and comment on all of my December posts and all of my pictures and all of my reels. Super easy and you're going to be entered into a giveaway. I'm giving away five huge boxes of my favorite things. Things that I've been posting about recently, things that I've been loving and that I love so much that I want to share with you guys. So it's a really, really good giveaway. I think I'm going to, after the girls go to bed, um show you guys what's inside give you guys a little sneaky peeky of what's inside of the boxes i'm so excited for you guys to see and i'm also gonna show a sneak peek over on instagram and i'm just super excited to do a giveaway i have not done a giveaway in a really long time so that is why i got the tea i got the tea because all the boxes are already put together except for there's just a couple of nicks and kinks that i need to work out that i needed some chocolate pieces so you guys will see in my walmart haul i got a couple of chocolate pieces some goodies for you guys and then i needed the perfect tea i got some tea recently at home goods but um the packaging kind of fell apart in the boxes and i'm not about that life so definitely taking that home goods tea back and then i was thinking what kind of tea is gonna hold up in the boxes have i been drinking lately and that i really enjoy and i was like oh the starbucks tea so went to walmart tonight got five of them those are the last little missing links to the boxes so the boxes are done you guys i can't wait to show you guys later what they are so we got the starbucks tivana teas beach bellinis i got some ghirardelli at peppermint bark chocolate squares we got some milk ghirardelli chocolate white chocolate sugar cookie little squares these are going to be super cute in your packages Shh. these are for stocking stuffers and then the last thing that I got was some Simply Lemonade that I needed to make the medicine ball tea from Starbucks. It's a copycat recipe and it called for lemonade. I had everything except for lemonade. So I'll show you guys exactly how I make the medicine ball. And it's super good, but it's so expensive from Starbucks. So I figured I'm just going to get all the ingredients myself and make them from home. Now I can make my medicine balls. Oh yeah, and then I forgot about these pastas. I've never seen these before, but they're cauliflower elbow pasta and zucchini penne pasta. Definitely a good way to sneak some extra vegetables into your kiddo's diet. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But 
This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything. Okay, it's way later and all the kids are in bed and I want to show you guys how my take is on the Starbucks medicine ball. So I know you're supposed to drink it hot, especially when your throat is hurting. That's why it's called a medicine ball. But I like my stuff iced, so I have a venti iced cup here. I'm going to take half hot water, pour it over the ice. lemonade so half hot water half lemonade and then you're going to take your peach tranquility tivana um, tea packets and then you're supposed to take tea packets of mint but i couldn't find mint at the store so i got peppermint and i'm going to add them to the cup so i'm going to take my tivana and this is loose leaf tea. It's really pretty. It's in a really pretty satchel like this. It smells so good. Mm. And then I'm gonna take a tea bag of peppermint, which is supposed to be mint. A little bit of honey and then what's really supposed to kick it off is the peppermint syrup I'm gonna add a splash of this and that should be it so while this kind of chills and steeps at the same time, I want to show you guys these beautiful bracelets that I got. They say mama. You guys, and I literally see bracelets like this for like $25 from small shops. Now I'm all down for supporting small shops and supporting local, I'm all there for it. But if you can't support local and if you can't have the money to support small shops, then go to Hobby Lobby, get yourself some $6.99 mama bracelets because that's where I got mine, Hobby Lobby. It came in this whole set for $6.99, you guys. So feel like winning and they're super cute. Look how cute. It's really good. I can only imagine it being hot on a cold day with a sore throat, feeling like poop. These medicine balls from Starbucks really make you feel good. They bring you back to health and all the ingredients are right here to make yourself your own medicine ball at home. I really feel like cold tonight with ice. But if I was really feeling down, I would definitely make it hot and make it at home. I kind of hear the girls in the room squeaking and squealing a little bit. They're on their way to falling asleep. That's what they do before they fall asleep is they play a little bit in their room and they giggle and it's really cute. Sometimes it's annoying, but it's really cute. Um, and they're going to fall asleep. Once they're sleeping, I'm going to make myself some popcorn, turn off all the lights in the house and watch a movie laying on the couch with Marcus. And that sounds so good. The house is a mess, you guys, but that's just all I want. I wanna leave everything as is and just take a break and watch a movie and yeah, just relax. Like I haven't been able to relax in such a long time. I feel like my anxiety, my holiday anxiety, you guys, I love spoiling. And I love buying everything for everybody that I love. And I get excited thinking about all the kids opening up their gifts on Christmas morning, of course. And I think about getting excited throwing our holiday family party. Okay, Sophia. Okay, Sophia. 
Do you guys hear that? Anyways, there's always an underlying stress and anxiety that I have, especially around the holidays because I want everything to be perfect and I want everything just right. I'm sure you guys can relate. I really need this night to myself and I really need to just unwind tonight. I'm drinking a Red Bull, drinking my delicious medicine ball. It is really good. You guys have to try it. Mm. I wonder, maybe just a little tiny bit more peppermint. I wonder what that will do to it. Just a splash of peppermint. You guys, this is delicious. I've never made this at home, and I'm so glad that I did because I feel like it tastes better than Starbucks. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes better than Starbucks. Yum. So, again, half lemonade, half hot water. Mint tea, peach tranquility Tivana tree tea, which you guys are gonna win. Five of you are gonna win. If you just go on Instagram, follow me, like, and um, comment on all of my December posts, you guys can win this with a box. And oh, yeah, I have to show you guys my box still. Let me go get it. Okay, so this is a box. It's not fully decorated yet, but I wanna decorate it with some like contact paper on here and some ribbons and some bows. But this is a box, you guys, it's huge. Look how big this box is. I mean, it's huge. And I made a reel on Instagram tonight of everything, mostly everything that was going in it. You guys look. Focus, there you go. There's so much good stuff in here. I'm so excited to the five winners. I couldn't be more excited. There's people randomly messaging me asking if I can make them, if they don't win, if I can make them a box and send it to them and they'll send me money. And I'm kind of, there's been like two or three people, I think three people that have asked me that. So random, but um, you guys are just, as excited as I am couldn't be more excited like if I was following somebody and they were giving away what's inside of this box I would totally try to get this box because it's that good so I really want you guys to win and I really want you guys to love everything that are my favorites because everything that I've been loving for the past couple of months and for the months of November and December while it's been chilly and snowy out right here in this box so again I'm really impressed with myself for making this medicine ball let me know down in the comments if you're gonna go to the store get the ingredients and make it and if you do tag me on Instagram because I'll repost you I will definitely repost you guys it's so good I feel like I'm gonna have one every day now mmm so I want to take my makeup off. I'm in my bathroom. I've been falling. I've been so tired at night that I've been falling asleep with my makeup on. Well, that's so bad. I don't want to do that tonight. I want to take it all off. And let my face breathe. I use the Neutrogena makeup wipes. My camera's dying. Ugh, and my other batteries in my car. Okay, I ran out to my car, and it's right, I live ne right next to my neighbor, obviously, but I ran out to my car, and my weirdo neighbor, we got new neighbors, he's really nice, but I think he gets really drunk and, like, turns into, like, a m massive horn dog or something, I don't know, but he was just outside staring at me, like, he had a beer in his hand and a cigarette in the other, and... And then um, I went out there in like these little Daisy Duke shorts and my lights are on outside my porch lights so you can like clearly see what I was wearing and he was just sitting there staring and it was just it was awkward I don't know but he does it all the time especially at nighttime let me show you what I'm wearing
So this is what I was wearing, like my pajamas. And yeah, he was just out there peeping. I love the Neutrogena makeup wipes. These ones are kind of dried out though because I left the top open so they're a little bit dry. So I was looking for my micellar water, but I really can't find it. So you guys know I have thinning of my hair. And if you are new, um, I have hair loss up here on the top of my head. And it's just progressively been getting worse over the years. And it really bothers me. It's like bothered me for years. And um, I recently started taking hair, skin, and nail vitamins from Costco. And then you guys know a couple years ago, like last year, I was taking sugar bear hair, which I really liked. But they are expensive. And Marcus, who's a nutritionist, a professional nutritionist, and a professional trainer, he, I was talking to him about my hair loss, and I'm like, yeah, I want to get these sugar bear, sugar bear hair pills. They're like 40 bucks. And he's like, why are you going to pay $40 for sugar bear hair or whatever they're called when I guarantee you the number one ingredient in them is biotin. So I researched it and all it is is biotin in a gummy form, like a, um, like a kid candy gummy bear form and they're $40 for, th for just a 30 day supply for 30 gummy bears. So I went to Walmart and I got some raw pure biotin, 10,000 milligrams, 60 capsules for $5 you guys. And I've been taking it for about a week. I have the hiccups. I've been taking them for about a week and I am no way shape or form playing with you or misleading you my hair is already starting to get thicker just by taking the biotin and then the cheap hair skin and nail vitamins from um costco so if you have like thinning hair or problems with your hair check out biotin you guys it's b-i-o-t-i-n just biotin i'll write it right there for you guys um i'm really impressed But yeah, he was like, why would you pay $40 for that? Let me get this wet. Ooh, I found the best contour ever. I told you guys about it on Instagram. And I storied myself putting it on. On Instagram, I did my makeup. But I don't think I have it told you guys about it on YouTube it's the L'Oreal true match and it's the contour color that I've been using is in the shade cappuccino and it's so pretty it's such a pretty smooth um, contour and I really really like it and guess what I liked it so much that it's been my ride or die it's been one of my favorite makeups for the past few weeks so I decided to buy them all for the five winners and throw them in the boxes. So you guys go sign up for these boxes and yeah, go win you some free stuff because they're good. They're really that good. The boxes, the giveaway is just a, like just a token of my appreciation for you guys for sticking with me, for following me. For being subscribed to my YouTube channel. For being supportive. For you guys supporting me. For me supporting you guys. You guys motivate me. I love you guys. And I just want to say thank you. So definitely if you're into giveaways. Or if you want to win a huge box full of super cool stuff. Go like and comment. Follow me on Instagram. Like and comment all of my posts. For the month of December and then the next boxes I'm going to do are going to be Valentine boxes and I'm going to give away Valentine boxes. So I'm just super excited. So much fun buying all this stuff and sharing all of my favorite stuff with you guys.
making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is. I'm so tired of all these clothes always piled up right here. It looks ridiculous. It looks junky. It looks tacky. And I have nowhere else to put it. My closet's so full. So I think I'm going to do a closet organization for you guys and for me and film it. And get rid of like over half of my clothes because I don't wear half of that stuff in the closet. My closet's so, so full. And companies just keep on sending me clothes. And I wear them. I appreciate them. But there's a lot of stuff that I don't wear. So I think I'm going to sell the stuff, donate it, get rid of it. And then make way for the stuff that I do wear and have enough room in my closet for it comfortably because my closet's out of control. So is my dresser. My dresser's overflowing, like overflowing with stuff that I don't wear. So I definitely need to get a hold on that. Um, I am going to go show you guys under the Christmas tree how many gifts I have wrapped, the progress that I have for wrapping the gifts. There's still so much left, but little by little, every night I'm getting it done. I did a Christmas wrap with me, and not a Christmas wrap with me, a what I got my kids for Christmas. And I'll link that down below in the description box. I did that yesterday. Today I'm vlogging my day in the life and I'm gonna go show you guys what's under my tree in case you're just wondering what's my progress, how far I've come, and how many gifts I have left to wrap because it's a lot. 13 days till Christmas and this is how far I've come. This is how far I've gotten with the wrapping of the gifts. There's that little bundle down there and then there's a few in gift bags here. Here's all my wrapping paper. Every night, little by little, I wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. So that is gonna be it for today's vlog, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give this video a big thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Promise and to come in the visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times.